my lovely witches! Welcome to a new video. My name is Christy and this is my channel. And today we are going to talk about how to study witchcraft, how to start and uh, what to keep in mind. So, um, for everyone who is a beginner, this will be probably really interesting and for everyone who tries to get to the more advanced level, this will be interesting as well. So, let's start with the beginner subject shall we? So, um, first thing to keep in mind when you get started is that witchcraft is a way of living. That's why you can incorporate it with all the beliefs and religions that's, like, that are out there. Because it's a way of living. And therefore you personally have to feel comfortable with what you are practicing. You have to keep that in mind during your research. Research is another thing. You will do a lot of research because it is a lifelong journey, therefore you will never stop learning and you will never be the one and most powerful magical person in that world, in this world. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But you know that you will never be mentally there that you're like, ha, ah, now I can conquer the world. Probably not. If you are, you um, you probably have to do a lot more research and more studying. <laughs> yes. What topics to start with when you start out is protection, grounding, cleansing, and maybe banishing if you like. I think that's also a good basic foundation, like those four things. Um, the reason why is that you start with those subjects because that way no matter what happens, no matter in which category you continue to study, even if it's like deepening the basics, um, you will be able to protect yourself, to get rid of things you don't want and um, to generally cleanse and balance your energy. Those are really important things to know when you start practicing. Once because you want to know how to, in the first place, not get those negative things and experiences. And on the other hand, if you should still get those bad negative energies and experiences, you will be able to get rid of it. So, yeah, that's why those are very important and, of course, to balance your own energetic household. Otherwise, it's difficult to do magic without, you know, lying flat and bad with no energy and depression mode on. <laughs> Which is not good. So, yeah, and you can become sick due to that if you don't be careful because your body and your soul is just too exhausted to do shit. So yeah, good things to start with and to research. Now to the when you already started studying and stuff and did the basics, what to do. What you can do now that you accomplished to research the basics and you have a solid understanding of those basics is you can do more research and look what is out there, like what topics are out there, like uh, what ways of practice, what ways of belief, if you want to incorporate beliefs, what traditions are out there, um, what opinions and perspectives are out there. So you want to start with that after the basics, so you get a basic idea of what's going on, how big the whole subject actually is, and to be able to pick out things you find interesting. And then when you found maybe a handful of things you found interesting, or maybe just one thing you found interesting, you can start studying those subjects. And once you reach a solid, like, basic understanding of those things. You can go on and research more things that interest you or what you can do at that point because um, 
that's how you get to the more advanced level. So you take those things you accomplish to get a basic foundation on and take like one or more out of it and start researching even more about them. Start trying things, like more things about those subjects. What that does is, even though you think you know already all there is to know about it, is that you learn even more and you start to learn different practices, traditions, perspectives, like all those things and deepen your understanding. And once you start deepening your understanding about the subject, you become more advanced in that subject. So, yeah. That's basically how you start studying and become more advanced. You first get a basic foundation of the things. What is there to know in general about it? Some basic techniques you can use for it. For example, protection. Like, some basic correspondences, for example. Uh, simple ways to protect yourself. And then, when you feel like you reached a basic understanding, a good foundation with that topic, and you can continue, you can later on decide to deepen that with researching even further, more methods, more correspondences, more ways of how other cultures maybe give protection, and so on. Um, yeah. I hope you understood what I mean with with that. <laughs> and you have to keep in mind when you start going into the advanced level that you, even though you reach in one topic the advanced level, the other topics you haven't started studying yet or just have the foundation of it, there you are still a beginner witch, okay? Still a novice, if you like. So you just started with those, or not even started with those. So there are still things to learn, and that's why it's an endless journey, because there's just so much you can start learning and deepening and become more advanced in. And even if you are in advanced and you still keep reading on different subject, you are advance in, you will still stumble upon things you haven't known before, perspective you haven't seen before, and so on. So that's also a thing why it's important you still should check out every once in a while your advanced topics, because maybe there are some new points you haven't known of. So, yeah. That, that is basically all I have to say for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and um, have a good understanding of how to start and maybe how to get to the more advanced level of practice. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them. And yeah, I hope I see you by my next video. Videos are uploaded every single Wednesday, so keep that in mind when you start following us. Um, yeah, and I wish you a happy December, and uh, I don't know, I think I will upload during Yule again, <laughs> if I see that correctly, so see you during Yule, and have a happy Yule in case it should be after that. <laughs> Bye!